A couple of years ago, I was invited to write a letter to Alan Turing by a colleague who had a very nice initiative about that. I wrote it in Italian because I wanted to write also an affectionate personal letter. And now it has beautifully been beautifully translated into English and will appear in this volume. Turing has a very peculiar style in writing. Um, he shows his own personalities in his papers, which is very unusual in, in mathematics. He is affectionate to the reader, he stresses that the next step may be difficult, but they are not. He simplifies reasoning in order to be readable by many, even though these papers, of course, are technical ones, the ones that affected my career. As a matter of fact, I've been mostly working in the mathematics of computer science, and the references are, of course, for us, and the birth of computability theory in the 30s by Gödel, Church, Turing, all the others, and in particular, of course, the invention of the first mathematical idea of a digital computer, this is Turing, Turing's work in 1936. But Turing also did some very relevant work, very original work in morphogenesis, in the Genesis of Forms in Physics and Biology. I was not aware of that work except for the title when I uh, was working in uh, computability theory, uh, but then by further collaborations both with uh, theoretical physicists and now with biologists, I went again across that beautiful paper. So in my letter I, I mention this work and try to embed it on current activities, the consequence of both his early pioneering work, uh, work in uh, computability and also the consequence today in his very original insight in, of morphogenesis in continua. Because Turing, uh, moving from one work, kind of scientific work to the other, is capable of changing perspective radically, is doing something very different when analyzing the continuous deformations and of forms with no software, he says explicitly, there is no need for a pre-design. My model falsifies the need of any pre-given, pre-given program, you know, um, for the engendering uh, biological forms. Um, so the man who distinguished between hardware and software by early work in the 30s and gave us the consistent notion of program, operating system, compiler by the notion of universal Turing machine, was able to move to an area where there is only hardware, continuous hardware going under deformations with no need of a predefined design. That was a totally different perspective and we owe to him this uh, talent to, to get into phenomena and, and change perspective when it is needed. Then, of course, correlate them, because at the end of the 1952 paper Morphogenesis, Turing tries and hints to a modeling of his ideas into uh, computers, digital computers. He says that this presents challenges, that one can analyze in specific cases, and he proposes himself to, to do further work later on. But the trial for his homosexuality began that year, and as everybody knows, two years later, after huge sufferings, he killed himself.